Come on, guys, kick it off. Talk to me about your parents who started Greenwich Street Jewelers. 1976, they thought that it would be a good idea to go someplace where there was a lot of uh, industry, corporations, et cetera. And so they sort of zeroed in on the World Trade Center site because at that time it had just been built. They decided to start looking for a store and they answered this really like tiny little ad in the New York Times that said jewelry store for sale. They met with the owners of the current store. It was a gentleman and his wife, Albert and Dorothy. And Albert and Dorothy decided, you know, that they would sell the business to my parents. But they actually stayed on and worked with them for an entire year, free of charge. Introduced them to all their customers, helped them, you know, learn the rope of, you know, what this would be like. I think that one of the things that goes hand in hand with owning a small business are these moments of kindness that happen that keep propelling you on your path. Then 9-11 happened. You know, we've we've always risen to the occasion. You know, we've risen to the occasion before and, and you know, and that's what we're doing now. I want to hear about the day when your parents turned the business over to you guys. So Jennifer was in the business helping them to rebuild. I was finishing school. I kind of was looking over what was happening in the store and I, and I wanted to be a part of it. Our parents were incredibly, incredibly supportive. They let us make decisions. They gave us enough room to spread our wings but not to fall too hard. So one of the first designers we brought in was, was Jamie Joseph. And we were so excited to bring her on. And, and when customers started to respond to these designers and everyone became more and more confident until it just happened and here we are today. What words of wisdom could you give to other small businesses around the world because you rose from the ashes? Let go of anything that you had and say, okay, what am I gonna do going forward? Because if you automatically accept that that will be your viewpoint, you'll be able to see new opportunities. You know, we're not saying like you're gonna throw everything away. Of course course not. What we've been talking about all week is just like, okay, like how, how do we need to evolve? Like, what is this inviting us to next? What's the best thing you've eaten in the last 24 hours? A spoonful of Nutella and it was really damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Full plate of rice and beans and an amazing Yum. authentic Puerto Rican meal and it was fabulous. Are you dancing, Christina? I, I secretly want to challenge Jen, but I want to get my daughters into it too. <laughs> I'm starting to warm them up. So last night when I was cooking dinner, I started blasting some salsa music and dancing with them. And by the end, they were getting into it. So watch out, Jen. I may be coming for you. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, you too.